Well, we stopped in a little town called Ravensthorpe in Western Australia. We um, waiting for Kate and Cam, who are following us in kind of like a convoy. And then Erin and Liam are coming up a bit later. Now, Erin and Liam and Kate and Cam are members of the family. And we are heading off for what? Family holiday. Yes. A, a, yes. a genuine family holiday at the coast with no work. That's why the camera's rolling. <laughs> I'm Andrew Cynthia White. Join me as I share my passion for building four-wheel drive trucks and traveling to the remotest parts of the world. Oh, there are galahs the other side. Should we go and look, look yes, at the galahs? Yes, and, and it's pretty on the other side of the silo yes, too. Yes, let's go. For two people who are not supposed to be working, we're not doing very well, are we? This trip is a holiday, or it's meant to be, for everyone, including me. It's about family, fishing, canoeing, swimming, snorkeling, reading books, reading books Afternoon avoiding sleeps, cameras. Avoiding cameras. To culminate with a charity event being held in 10 days' time where my feature film Cry of the Kalahari will be shown. Not working? Right. How are we doing so far? <laughs> We're on the last stretch to Esperance and um, it's very, very cloudy. Um, and I'm now thinking that we have six people camping with us. We have two fridges, actually, well, excluding three. this one here, but we have let's say, three fridges and uh, a battery, basic battery system in the X Trail, and of course this very fancy battery system in this vehicle with solar power and 300 amp hour lithium. However, they only means to charge because we're going to be at campsites for three plus days each. The only way of charging is solar. And it's cloudy. With and some it's rain forecast. Don't you just love rain when you're trying to I'm get talking, a beach holiday? I'm talking, about, I'm talking to these nice people here about batteries. But they're more interested in the fact that we're about to have rain on our beach holiday and they're feeling sorry for us, I hope. As I was saying. So we ditched the kids to do their normal tents and tent pegs and guy ropes and all that stuff. Our camper is popped and here we are. Come to do what? What do we come to do? Okay, this is uh, called the Grand Beach. It is Cape the Grand Beach. Yeah, it's really boring. Yes, another Australian beach. Yeah, I cold. I think we'll get used to it, but it's not too bad. We'll get used to it. We'll get used to anything. You can get used to a gulag. Oh. I'd have to be very hot before I dove into that. And also they've got those fish with those really big teeth. You know the ones I'm talking about? Mm. So, yeah, it's not like Ningaloo where it's kind of Protected. protected yeah so i don't to think explain ningaloo we went to ningaloo earlier uh, in the middle of the year uh, in the pilbara it's um a world heritage site on the coast coral bay and uh, uh shark bay and we were up further north and uh south of exmouth stunning stunning but yeah this doesn't have a reef protecting it so i reckon you get some big monsters coming in here I'm a Join me as I share my passion for four-wheel drive. It's very fun. 
<laughs> I think he's given up trying to kill me. He's fishing instead. Never get over these bonkers colours. Eh? No, they're stunning. So, what are you two doing, gate crashing Liam and Erin's romantic breakfast? Having coffee. Don't put me on trial. It's early morning. It's not early morning. It is early morning. <laughs> uh, I was going to do okay. some kind of narrative. I can't think of anything. The safari. Not that close to me, Mother. Not that close to me. Have you got anything to say for yourself? Gate crashing what is supposed to be a romantic Aren't breakfast? You here? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and you? Well, we've heard from you already. Well, we haven't shared our food with them so far. Who said anything about romantic? Oh, uh, you youngly married with a baby coming. Of course, it's romantic. Liam, try harder. <laughs> try harder. No, you're not allowed to hold the camera. This is gonna be. This is teaching old dogs new tricks. Not an easy thing. Oh, I didn't. Look so miserable. <laughs> Andrew is not allowed to work this holiday. It's supposed to be a holiday, but um, I'm afraid old habits and uh, what. Old tricks and new dogs, or whatever the saying is, um, he can't go anywhere without a camera. But you're probably wondering why I'm not allowing him to work. If you haven't been in the arts, where you spell my cherry pip, where you having to create content, whether it's books or music or YouTube videos, and you haven't been in that business where you have this uh, ferocious audience waiting for your stuff, which is a fabulous blessing. I mean, this is this is the, the classic two-edged sword. You have this incredible blessing where you have people who love your stuff and want more of it and just want to read your next book or listen to your next piece of music that you put up or watch your next youtube video it becomes relentless it's it is such a demanding mistress and i say mistress because it becomes your um it is that consuming it takes you away from everything else everything else you love things that you used to do i know with my uh, writer's burnout all the things that I used to love to do, I stopped doing because I was working on the next book. Well, I worked myself into a fabulous burnout, which was the best thing that ever happened to me because now I'm just a free spirit and I do what I love when I love it. I learned that from my burnout. And I'm scared that having been down that relentless path of producing content the whole time, that the same will happen to Andrew. And for him, it would be even more catastrophic than for me because he started making film when he was a child. So uh, the regimental sergeant major, i.e. me, has stepped in and said, enough, you've got to build in downtime. You've got to begin to learn to put the camera away because uh, he was just making movies for fun, no problem. But it's not just making movies for fun anymore. It's definitely uh, making movies to feed the furnace. And um, man, we're grateful to you all who watch the channel and who love the content 
and who want more, we're so grateful to you because you make this fabulous lifestyle possible. But at the same time, I've got to protect my boy. And um, we'll find balance. And I think that's really what it's all about, is finding balance. I just realized something interesting. What? Apparently, it's like you're a wife in the 50s. You're not allowed to work. Yes, I'm a wife in the 50s. You see what you've done to me? <laughs> He's being repressed! Being repressed. <laughs> Don't you repress me! I want to be called Loretta. <laughs> are the Osmos waterproof? Yes, they are. Why? Not this very minute. No. But I thought if you're gonna. If you're gonna you yes, yes, I'll give you the. I, oh, I'm not allowed to talk about when. You'll tell, uh, you'll tell when to give me the camera because it went. Great idea. I'm not, I'm not allowed. You're talking work again. I can't help it. But he's there talking work. Is it my fault? Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's yeah. always the wife's fault. Actually, no. You're not making the thumbnail right now. You're not working. No, I'm just going to be talking about, about it. I'm going to do, do a video. Do you get the sense that they're I'm, mocking me? I'm going to do a video and it's going to have a shot like that. That's what the <laughs> thumbnail is just going to be that. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, great idea. John. Fantastic idea. Get a billion views. Not a lot of talk about work. <laughs> See, I can't stop myself. Mm, this is the problem. But at least we're laughing at your jokes. We're only doing it because we're trying to get the second it's No, we're not funny at all. Well, I think we should all sing a song oh, okay. about Andrew Sinclair White. Eric can sing that for you. Andrew Sinclair White. Join me as I share my passion for four wheel drive and come to the remotest part of the world. I'm a brother of the world. <laughs> okay, what are we going to do now? I'm not going to talk Wait, work anymore. <laughs> I'm getting scowls from Gwyn. <laughs> okay, let's cut the camera. Everybody say goodbye for now. Bye. 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 So I would like you to tell me if I should start working or not. <clears throat> this is how the camera would be if I was working and I'd be presenting to camera in my normal fascinating and engaging style. Or not working would look something like this. Which one would you prefer? Well, the water's quite warm. Oh, you better take over. I'm not allowed. So, Drun, who are your favourite YouTubers that feed the beast? Oh, my favourite YouTubers. Oh, that's quite in, that's easy actually. Uh, in no particular order. Uh, young bloods, Brody. He goes out into places like this and fishes on his boat, and it's it's wonderful. And, it's so, and he's so laid back. He's just this is the most laid back dude. But he's got nice kids and catches big fish. Uh, Trent Palmer flies bush planes in the states. He's based out of Reno, I think, outside Reno. Uh, and I just love the flying. Uh, there's a guy called Mike Patey who builds insane experimental aircraft. Bonkers. Out of this world experimental aircraft and he builds them from scratch in his very nice hangar. And photography and filmmaking, Philip Bloom, there are a lot of good ones, but he knocks it out of the park for me. Philip Bloom. There you go, for You? Me? Yeah. Gardening channels. Any particular ones? Am I gardener? I really like. Epic gardening, I love. And then I've got a few other channels that kind of more faith-based channels, things that I like to watch. But yeah, gardening. Gardening, chickens, uh, home DIY. <laughs> very different, very boring compared to yours. I'm running again. I have a camera this time because Liam caught a fish. He speared it with a spear gun we bought yesterday. And now I'm excited. So we're gonna go take pictures. The fish. Woo! What kind of fish is it? Yeah, nice. Uh, you're ready for Tinder. I'm not scaled already. Yeah. There's no scales. 
I see scales. I see scales. That's scale what scales. Off. There's but a scale just came off on your hand. That's weird. <laughs> so we need to check size I limit before the it's posted. Oh. Well, it's Sunday, and Sunday means the crowds arrive. Over there. Not too bad, I'd say. We've just up sticks, packed up, beauty of the camper, five minutes, all packed up, park on the beach. Open the awning. This is what it's all about. I think the saying is, what a difference a day makes. Hey. Yesterday it started all beautiful, and then it became so windy, it was blowing a gale. And we woke up this morning to clear skies, beautiful. And an hour later, this rolled in. But we knew it was coming. We driving to a new campsite today and um, hopefully we've timed it so we can get a crack in the weather for today because today is going to be a pretty grotty day that we can arrive and set up camp in the dry and then the next couple of days are a bit iffy and then we've got beautiful weather towards the end of the week but that's how beach holidays go isn't that so Mr. White? What? I'm looking at, I'm looking at that, that, that seagull. I'd love to get a camera on that guy. Look at the way he's struggling in the wind. Three hours later and we've just arrived at our campsite. And it's bucketing down and freezing cold. Okay, for us, we've got a nice tempo. Everybody else has got a... Yeah, but you say that. But actually, it's not all right for us. There's no space in the camper to do anything except for sleep. Everybody else is smart enough to stay at home or book into a luxury lodge. <laughs> you see, Cameron said, we are the prayer. Every time we see Dad's car in the distance, I go, Cam, and Andrew said, get away. <laughs> Monster. Yeah. <laughs> the beast. Or if we're behind you, it's why are they going so slowly? <laughs> or if we pass you, it's. I'm just talking for a pee. <laughs> yeah, it'll be nice to Kate and Cameron because they have the big crew. <laughs> just remember which car the food is in. Yeah. Oh. So we all bring something to the table. I bring most of all with just who I am. Okay, sometimes you can bring too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Hit the ground! X-Man! Axe boy! Okay, so we have Man boy, Fish boy, and Axe boy, even though it's not candles, a vegetable boy! Yeah. Vegetable boy! <laughs> For anyone who wants to know, it's describing this situation in his brain. <laughs> we have nothing to do. I know. Just pop. Would you mind filling up our mattresses? <laughs> yeah, right. In your dreams. What are we going to do about the dead hump? Okay. No, we've pump. already sorted that out. Okay, cool. I don't that egg for ourselves. No. Oh. Get Ooh, stuff. Shit, we got a problem. <laughs> 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 Aggressive? <laughs> yeah. Do you think we should use the pump to... It's the wrong kind of pump, but I suppose... Otherwise we'll just hear whining. We will make it particularly... Bitchy. What are you pointing the camera at me for? Because you're doing... You're, but you're, holiday. you're not touching the camera, so technically you're not breaking any rules. No, I'm not. See our, our incredibly sophisticated conversion from... to pumping up mattress. It takes a long time there. If we forget about it and walk away, it'll be enough pressure to make this mattress really big. But I am going to start the engine because this uses a lot of current. 
So, let me go and start the engine and start. Yes, You've got to see someone about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's all time low. I like. We get funnier than that. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe and click the notifications bell so you don't miss our weekly videos.